Welcome, this is a quick video on today's lesson about finding the area of composite shapes or complicated shapes by using friendly shapes. Uh, you can see right here, my first shape of today's lesson, I have a parallelogram. Now, the area of a parallelogram, to find that, I can easily just take this shape and do one of two things. I can take this one here and I can actually split this up into friendly shapes. Friendly shapes right there. And you can see in this friendly shape, I have a one rectangle here, I have a second triangle, and a third, or first triangle, and a second triangle. And so I have three different shapes. Now to find the area of the entire shape, I can just add the rectangle with the triangle and the triangle, find the sum, and that'll be the total area. So let's do that. First thing I need to know is, let's, for number one, what is the area of my rectangle? And my rectangle is, of course, I'm going to say length times width, or you can think base times height. With my length times width, um, I have a length of one, two, three, four. So a length of four and a height of one, two, three, or a width of three. So it's going to be four times three, a total area of 12. Alrighty. For the next one, let's say this is number two, shape two, which is the area of a triangle. In the area of a triangle, I know that it is actually half of an entire rectangle. So it's half of that rectangle there. So I can take half of a rectangle, which is a base times height. Well, in this rectangle here, what's my base? One, two. So it's going to take half of two times my height, which is one, two, three. Half of two and three. Okay? I um, multiply those together. I have half of six, and half of six is three. And let's do the third shape here, this last shape. This last shape, uh, exact same thing. I know that I can make a rectangle here and this triangle is half of that rectangle. So the area of a triangle is, of course, half of my base and height, which is the same thing as length and width. Half of my base and height. Um, the base of this one, let's say it's one, two. It's two, and the height from my 90 degrees is one, two, three. My height is three. Multiply them all together, I get half of six with a total of three. So, oops, there we go. So. You see here that my area of my first shape is 12, my second shape is 3, and my sh third shape is 3. So all together, my total area, my total area for this shape, this parallelogram, is going to be 12 plus 3 plus 3. A total of this is 6 and 18. So the total of that is 18 there. Next one, we're going to look at this shape down here, and we'll look at a different method. Catch the next one.